Hey guys, Voltex here, back here in Najala with another weapon analysis video. In this video, we're going to be covering the Overclaws. Last video, we covered the Pox and Claw Gloves, which are the newest weapon to drop here in Season 7. In the last video too, I basically explained you know, how the kit of the boxing gloves work and this since you know like every other uh variant video i do i'm gonna explain i guess the kind of the place out weapon because we explained everything last time now the ogre claws kit is weird it's really weird because we have gum ghost and we have worst nightmare which is the horse now when this weapon dropped I had made a prediction before this weapon dropped, but I said this weapon should have Gumshot and Tenshi. I think that will make this weapon really, really good, but I don't know, the depths seem kind of like they don't want to add any more weapons with Tenshi, despite only two weapons in the game that has Tenshi. But this weapon has Gum Ghosts and Horse. The Poxing Gloves. It's kit is more like a support and aggro at the same time because of because boomerang can, can work You can set it up you can use it offensively and then it comes back to so in case if To kind of use it defensively or like team assists or whatnot because since it comes back two times and it has a pretty decent hit stun And whatnot so so the pox and gloves are like an aggro and support at the same time Well, this kit is more centered around support I guess like area control in a way I guess the way to use this weapon is using like maybe kind of relying on gum goes to like go in with it to, to um to like I guess like to help you attack the opponents because the boomerang because the boomerang doesn't have like any like aim like homing capabilities so if the man aim it while well, ghost is all about homing and whatnot and these weapons are close range so i guess ghost is a pretty okay choice for this weapon but you probably want to use this weapon like when you use ghost to chase opponents or not hit them and, and if they experts you follow, follow follow it up with a break attack or if they don't you just hit them maybe just like hit or if you use also use on combos too Oh, oh, ignore that but I think like using ghosts to help you attack opponents is probably gonna be <laughs> the way to go so for this weapon I guess I kind of see having a use for hyena or wall shooter because get to get the extra uh, gum damage or ghosts as well yep so yeah and then it has worst nightmare worst nightmare is an interesting choice because the last weapons we got with extreme motor and dj scratch and extreme motor introduced the horse but now then now this this new weapon has it horse if if uh Angler doesn't know you know you just fly straight and it does a lot of damage it's very 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 similar to tornado but tornado you can only go forward and backward and you can't it, it lasts tornado lasts shorter than it and then tornado can't go up or down. Like you, you can mash the B button, you can slowly uh, ascend by by basically jumping, and then the turn raise and whatnot. But I guess horse is also a, a, de a decent option because horse can like clear out areas, and and horse is really really fast as well. Unlike tornado, so you can kind of like blindside people as well. So yeah, I guess that's to use force on this weapon like i said I, this weapon is really really weird so kind of kind of having hard, a hard time explaining all this but but I, th but I think yeah this weapon is just basically like the a more aggressive version of the passing gloves with those especially if people are on low health you have the hyena i'll probably say you'd recommend hyena because hyena is a low cost why not they can get those binds easier and gun and gun ghost gun ghost is pretty decent, but I think it should deserve a buff as well. Maybe they should re like revert the time loss they did on it, cause of, like cause the last nerf ghost received they shave it, the duration of it. Uh, they made it last two seconds less than before, so two seconds longer. Maybe if they revert that, 
to travel a little bit further makes it probably really good but anyways those are the ogre uh, the ogre gloves the aggro version of the boxing gloves this weapon is still pretty good a lot of people like these weapons these weapons are really really fun to play if i really expect this glove type weapon in this game and whatnot but anyways i've been voltex this has been a weapon analysis and i will see you all i guess when the the new weapons drop for for, for the next season i guess season eight probably like sometime after december but this has been weapon analysis so far thank you so much for watching this, this series if you have watched the series or this videos or whatnot and i will see you all later